this stuff I've had actually for quite a while now. I'll let you know like some of the things and when I've purchased them to get an idea how long I've been using them for. Uh, typically when I do my hauls, they're not just things I've bought like within the last few days. They're usually things I've bought within the last couple of months just because I don't get around to filming uh, for this channel as often. So I can't wait chit chat tonight or today about all of these products because I feel like I have a good handle on the, like most of the stuff and what I like and what I don't like. Um, mostly everything I like otherwise I'd return it but I'm gonna have actually a beer today. It is a Sunday fun day and I decided I'm gonna have a beverage while we chit chat so grab a tea, grab a glass of wine, you know, maybe you don't want anything at all. But I'm gonna have this Six Point Brewery Resin Double IPA. I don't drink beer all the time. Um, I do like beer, but um, I can't drink very juicy, cloudy, hazy IPAs. There's too much citrus, and that really affects my IBS, so I just stay away from it. I do like them, and they tend to be very heavy. Um, I think beer in general, obviously, is pretty heavy. But I have always, always loved, like, a West Coast IPA. Like, very hoppy. Um, that's, like, my favorite kind. This one I like because it's just super hoppy. It's a bit strong. This one, I think, is, like, 9%. I don't know if it says it on the can. 9.1. So, this is, like... It's a doozy. But, yeah. So, it's a really nice fall day today. I don't think I can open this with my nails. Hold on. Okay. So, cheers for sips for you if you drink. That's tasty. Okay. So, let's get right into it. I think I'm going to start with Ulta first. Um, I went in to get, I don't even remember. I think, oh, you know what it was? I went to go get the peach and lily cleanser. That's why I went to Ulta and they didn't have it in stock and I didn't check on the website before I went. So I was a little disappointed because, um, as you know, I did buy that kit and I want to do an empty soon and talk a little bit about what I've liked and what I didn't like out of products that I've used up. And out of that kit, I really did like the cleanser. But unfortunately, um, you know, it wasn't in stock, so I moved on and I bought a few other items. The first one I got was this e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil in the color Pink Quartz. Looks like this, super pretty, like, looks like strawberry quartz. I absolutely love the color. I'm so into glosses, guys. I've talked about this recently. I don't know what it is. I actually do know what it is. It's filming so much. I love to look like really juicy and glossy. Um, I just think it's like a really nice look on camera. I never liked gloss because I didn't like it in my hair. That was the biggest reason I never liked it. But as I'm getting older and my lips are like deflating, um, yeah, I really enjoy gloss because it kind of just plumps it up, you know what I mean? So, I don't have the boxes for everything because I've been keeping these for so long. Some of them I lost. So, um, it looks like this. It has like this really beautiful clearish pink. It doesn't really have much of a color to it when you're wearing it. So it looks like so. A huge doe foot applicator. I was watching other stuff as you can tell. And it's just a clear gloss really is what it is. It's very pretty, super shiny. It has like a slight pink tint. I'm wearing a different gloss, but it's not, um, it really isn't going to give your lips like a crazy uh, color payoff, but I really like it. It stays on pretty well. It's not sticky. I hate sticky lip gloss. It's typically a no for me. If it's sticky, I won't, you know, entertain it, but this I find to be really comfortable, and I believe it was around like seven or eight dollars, so a really good price. 
because yeah no it's a little different this one's more of like a metallic shimmer as opposed to like a sparkle wow isn't that kind of crazy the color is very similar just without the overspray of glitter it's honestly like the same product which is crazy that's kind of accidental but that's nuts but um yeah there's no glitter to this one but still kind of the same concept really nice if you like a one and done product because i know for me everyday wear if you go to work in the morning and you have to get ready those are great products so you can look polished but not have to try super hard if you don't have time to do like a 15 20 minute eye look all right let me just wipe that off
gorgeous color if you're into liquid lips. I've never tried the lingerie XXL and to be fair I haven't tried a ton of matte lip uh, products. When that whole like matte lip craze was like happening maybe five years ago I didn't really like hop on the train like I've probably tried like one or two and that was about it but because it always like sucked the life out of my lips I didn't really wear them too often. Alright, let's move on to Sephora. It was my birthday in late October and my best friend gave me a gift card. He always gives me a gift card to Sephora because he knows I will use it within like a couple of days and I did. And I was so upset though because I bought a couple of things and then they had the VIP sale. like that from the truck. 
smart packaging I feel like it just <laughs> 
I'll be honest with you, I don't like her packaging. It's too busy. I mean, it's very Gwen Stefani, but I'm not a fan of it. Like, it's cute. It's cute, but it's just so much going on. And I don't really love Paisley. Um, so it has this, like, gold and white and black. Just too many colors for me, but... And just prints. That is the color.
nice like champagne-y kind of color to it and I just pop it on my brush like so and then I like to just pop it right under my eyes and like upper cheekbone right on the forehead and right on the chin and like down the nose and guys this gives you the most beautiful soft focus effect it's not quite a highlighter I'm not sure if it's quite a setting powder I think it's marketed towards like a luminous like highlighting powder because look at that do you see that like that little such tiny sheen that it gives the skin it just blurs a soft focus effect it is a very unique powder and it doesn't feel drying and I know that a lot of people like myself that have dry skin really struggle with powder I love this it's just beautiful for the winter time you know to give you a powder but not make you look overly dry I don't know guys I'm really loving this I've had this for about I'm gonna say three to four weeks and I'm obsessed and I will definitely be repurchasing it if I haven't said that already so I wanted to share that right and then I bit the bullet guys I bought the road peptide lip in the color raspberry jelly and I'm a sucker okay I'm not gonna lie I ended up like signing up for an email list when I saw that this was coming out because I really do if you know me I love a good lip tint of any sort um I love like a red color and um this was no exception so I went on the email list when it was going to be released and picked it up right away and it shipped out pretty quick um packaging was really nice uh, from the shipping department and the only thing i realized after i bought it was that it has no smell to it i thought it would be like a raspberry smell i really wish it had a scent um it's all all of them are unscented i didn't realize that but that's not really anybody's fault other than my own it doesn't really make any cap sounds but um all right so let's talk about this color it is stunning look at that the pigment is insane it is beautiful like the most gorgeous color now here's the downfall do you see these little dots okay do you see that right i know you see it it's like texture it's not gelling with the formula i'm not sure if it's the pigment with the base of the lip like the, the peptide lip tint base but it is at least in my tube I'm sure I'm not the only one this is very gritty and I'm very disappointed about that because it's a $16 lip tint there's no reason that this should feel gritty and it just I don't know it's upsetting because I really like the color and it is still beautiful and I'm wearing it anyways and I'm hoping that it was just like maybe a launch issue like sometimes you know I know products can be uh, tested and they go for production that not not always things go to plan and patches can vary and sometimes um, with pigments things can just go wrong um, viscosities testing all of that and even if you test things a million times like there's just other variables that can happen and um, yeah it's super pretty it's not gonna probably stop me from wearing it but it's something i hate every time i put on my lips i just feel it like oh it's so gritty it kind of goes away because i think it like needs to break up but again it's like do you see that yeah there's definitely something wrong with the formula or the way they're mixing the pigments with the base there's something there or maybe it's a temperature issue that changes the way that the formula settles but um i feel like i understand that that can happen um it is a new launch unfortunately you know that is a problem i'm sure that's something that they're probably going to deal with because no one's going to want to sell gritty lip balm i'm sure of that but it's just my observation from my tube um but as you can tell it is so beautiful it is really pigmented and you can add layers to it which i love 
so soft. 